everyone. So Callie Black, Shay206, and I had put on a Wizard of Oz art themed project. Um, we hope you enjoy this art show. We are challenging other artists or um, to share your work with us, either create a video or post pictures on social media sites, and you can go ahead and use hashtag inspired by hashtag Wizard of Oz art. And we hope you enjoy the show. And today I'm going to show you how I make the Tin Man as part of my garden art. So again, if you have any questions, please see the please look below in the description, and you can also find the playlist up in the i card. And we hope you enjoy the show. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. So I wanted to do a little recap here. I had taken all the cans and I had bolted them together. I ended up using sardine cans for the feet. I have an empty paint, paint can for the head and I use soup and vegetable cans for the arms and legs. Here I'm showing you how I had bolted the pieces together so they're movable. And next, what I want to show you um, is how I put the holes in the can. I simply took a screwdriver and a hammer and banged down on it. I also had a hand drill, which I had used, which is my favorite toy. <laughs> and that's how I put the holes in all the cans. I put four holes on each can. And here I'm showing you how I attach the head, which is the paint can, and I attach an eye hook to the top of the can, which I'll place on top of the head. This will allow me to feed the wire through and to be able to hang up the sculpture from a tree or from a stake. So just to show you again, I had placed two holes on each side of each can. So each can has four holes. I did that to help me attach the bolts. As you can see, I attached the arms with one bolt and then the inner pieces I did two bolts. And I'll list all the products, the tools and the sizes and everything below in the description. And I did the same for the legs and the feet, which are sardine cans, which um, I had did the same thing. I poked the hole and attached it to the bottom of the other cans. And to attach the head, I attached the bottom of the paint can to the bigger can. So that's where we are with this right now. So I wanted to make sure you got a clearer picture. I used the paint can, which I got from Home Depot, the middle can for the sugar. Um, that was a piece around the house. Uh, funnel, which I painted gray to go for to the top, which will hook by the eye hook. And then I had attached two cans for the arms and two cans for the legs. I used the vegetable can for the top of the arm and a soup can for the bottom. I also use uh, to bolt it down bolts and I will put the sizes and everything down below for you to know exactly what I used. Um, I did the same for the legs and I did want the arms and everything to move because it will be hanging and I wanted to make some kind of noise. So let's put this aside and now I'm going to get ready to show you So here's the funnel and what I did was I used the same wire I used for my doll making and I kind of measured, guessed how much I would need and doubled it, putting it through because it would hang from the eye hook um, up through the funnel. So I cut off a piece of that and with the approximate length that I thought, um, I didn't take the measurements for it um, so you can play around with it and check how you, what length you wanted. 
I go ahead and then twist the ends together so that it holds together when I apply it to, when I tie it to the eye hook of the top of the paint can lid. And in case you're wondering what that red thing is there, my mouse had broken and I didn't even realize it was still sitting in the screen. So now that I have it twisted, here's the lid. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap the wire around the eye hook, kind of making a knot, making sure that it's secure. Now here's going to get a little difficult showing you what it actually looks like when I place it on the hood on the on the lid Ugh. when I place the lid on top of the paint can because um, the way my camera is angled but I will show you at the end of this project what it looks like and so now I'm going to feed the wire through the funnel and that is how I will attach the the head to um, oh, I did add some washers just in case the wire fell through and um, it's just, just to add a little more strength to it. So then I fed it through and that will go on top of the paint can for the head of the Tin Man. So I have a stencil here and here are the lids so I'm going to go ahead and make a heart out of the tin using my stencil. I'm just going to do that and just in case I'm going to do two. You never know. Oops. So now I have my heart. And now I need to find my first. Okay, so um I had scissors and tin snips and um, apparently someone else used them so I'm using these scissors 
um, that we have around the house. And because the foil is so thin, the aluminum is so thin, this is the top to one of the soup cans or tuna cans, I'm not sure. So I just keep making a heart. There's one. And I'm making two just in case one does not work out. sharp. So now I have my heart. And this looks a little weird. <laughs> oh well. It's a heart. I think it's just because of the lines the way it it is. But that's okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and paint these red for my Tin Man. And um, I'm going to use, hopefully I was not too far out of the screen, but I'm going to probably just spray paint them real quick um, to get the hearts, to get the heart, the red color I want. And I'll attach it with some glue right to his chest. So, there we go, and now we'll go to the next part. Okay, so I spray painted the heart, and I have put the lid together here. I attached the two hearts together. So, I went out and sprayed it with a little, um, I had some silver spray. I use. So now I'm going to take the top here and I'm going to put it right on like that. And now I'm going to make another bolt that's going to go right here on here. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that in the hole that I made. And there we go. The head is attached. And now I'm going to attach his cap. Just like so. And so now we have his hat. So I'm going to go ahead and just bend this a little bit so I don't, it doesn't fall off. And I'm going to take him outside and show you what he looks like in the yard. So there he is. He's all finished and I have him hanging in a tree. I'm not sure if that's where I'm going to keep him. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, this collaboration. And we're challenging you guys to go ahead and create some Wizard of Oz art themed projects. So if you're inspired by this um, collaboration, go ahead and tag it inspired by hashtag Wizard of Oz art and do a video or draw paint. Post your po photos on Instagram, Pinterest, and just let us know where you where you shared your work. We'd love to see what you do. And I hope you all enjoy the show and make sure you go visit everyone else's work. Thanks again for watching.